In this tutorial, we're exploring graphs given in forms other than y equals a function of x. In particular, graphing lines and curves of the form x equals, curves given parametrically, and graphing regions. There is a separate tutorial for polar coordinates. To work along with this tutorial, you will find it easiest to reset the calculator before starting so that your screen matches the one in the video. Choose graph mode and then type and then select x equals. Type the number 3 and enter for the first equation. Use the x theta t key for y to enter the second equation. Draw will produce a graph with both lines. The CG50 will also graph curves given parametrically. So go back and scroll up to delete the current equations. You'll need to use the F1 key to confirm. And now when you choose type, you can choose parametric. And then type each equation, again using the x theta t key, which now gives t for the theta. Notice the default setting for the angle is in radians and the range that the parameter takes matches that. Then you can draw and then zoom out to see the whole graph. To graph regions representing inequalities, use the second and third set of options in the type menu. Exit the graph and then delete the parametric equations. You'll need to use F1 to confirm that you actually do want to delete them. Then choose type and use the arrow to go to the second set of options and choose the Y is greater than option. Use the x theta t key to enter the new inequality and draw. Notice the required region has been shaded and the boundary line is dotted as it's a strict inequality. Should multiple inequalities be needed, exit and return to the list of equations. And then choose the type of inequality from the second set of options. Use the x theta t key for the y and choose the inequality. Then choose the next type of inequality from the third page of options. And now the x theta t key will give y's. Draw to see all three of your inequalities shaded at once. Notice the default setting here is to draw each of the three inequalities and all the plane is shaded, some parts two or three times. If you prefer to see the feasible region which satisfies all the three equations at the same time, go to Setup and scroll down. Choose Intersection and then Execute. And now when you draw, only the region which satisfies all three inequalities is shaded. In general, the CG50 won't draw graphs from equations given implicitly. You can add a circle to a graph from the sketch menu and they can be drawn from their equation along with other conic sections using the conics mode on the main menu. You can find additional resources at education.casio.co.uk.